So guys, I am back with another Star Wars Jedi Survivor XP farm video and this one is absolutely unreal. This one will see you earning an easy skill point every minute if not quicker. Guys, you don't want to miss this. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so my pal sent me a video over on my Discord by a dude called RPG Labs, who I'll link down below in the video description. Credit must go to this dude for posting this uh, this first. I have made it a little better and a little quicker and a little easier for you guys, but hey, without him and showcasing it to the world, we wouldn't have this video. So yes, check his channel out. It's linked down below. Okay, so to do this, guys, you need a couple of things. Firstly, your skills. You need. Let's go to Force, and I'll show you exactly what you need. You need, guys. This one right here, unrelenting pull. Hold LT to affect the largest and most force resistant enemies. You need to pull these towards you. This is super, super important. It's an absolute must. There's no two which ways about it. If you need skill points to actually unlock this, I'll post a, vi a video on an earlier farm I did for XP. It's not as good as this one, but it's still decent enough. And you'll get this in no time. That'll be linked down below also. You also, guys, to make it better on yourself, in regards to earning more experience, you want a perk called Wisdom. Wisdom is purchased from Z. Z becomes a vendor, you know, the robot you save as you progress Boha the map I'm on right now. As you progress this, and I believe you're going to a forest to the point where you're going to a forest while the ship Mantis is being fixed. Um, when you come back, Z becomes a vendor, which you'll see on the screen now. Now you need five data discs, which you'll find all over Cobra. Uh, uh, just spend them as soon as you get five. Buy this, it just makes things much, much easier. So yes, wisdom, and don't forget you need to apply this, guys, within those meditation points. Okay, so the, the place I'm at on the map right here, guys, is the beauty spot. I am at the Fort Carlin meditation point. Now, I'm 31.4% through Kabar. You could probably do this way, way sooner. This, for me, is tied to no mission. I just come down here. I say exploring, and I made my way down here. Uh, but yes, probably take you about 10 minutes to get down here. Depending on where you are, to be honest. Depending on where you are. But yes, this is exactly where you need to be. The Fort Carlin Meditation Point. This is the beauty spot. Okay, so how this works is basically quite simple. Um, you want to make your way onto this building here. And what you'll see is two big guys will spawn in. And they'll start walking across this bridge. Now these guys are going to actually fight me. They'll start walking across that bridge. Now the problem with the video I saw by RPG Labs is he takes a longer route where he goes up through there, around there and around there. By the time he gets to it, uh, trying to do it yourself, it's way more difficult. Yeah, but I've got a much, much shorter route, which means you can more or less guarantee every time to take them down. Pull them off there to their deaths and they die. Or, which I believe as well, you probably get more XP for killing them. I'm not sure. I've tried and tested it, guys. My eyes ain't what they used to be. I can't really tell an XP bar. But what I would recommend you also doing just for this, if you don't want to be a scrubber like me, play on that story more difficulty. Because if it does come to you trying to take these out, they're basically just sitting ducks. If you play on any other mod, it could be a little difficult. So it's going to take you a little longer to do. Okay, so from this meditation point, I'm just going to rest and show you exactly what I do here. Guys, it's just, I know it's bit long-winded but once you get this down it's absolutely unbelievable okay so from this meditation point here see this building right here guys this is what we're gonna do this is the shortcut jump onto this box jump up here just like so and anyway guys you have to be careful here but it's, once you get it down you'll be fine double jump like that that's the way you gotta go just like so and there you go guys you'll see them there now don't worry about these other ads they ain't gonna hurt you and all you gotta do guys is just pull them down Let him fall to his death. This guy here, let him fall to his death. And there you go. As simple as that. Now, if you hold on to the actual pull when you're pulling them down too much, they won't die. So as soon as you're off the edge, let go of it. And then, guys, all you literally got to do is go back to that meditation point. Rest and rinse and repeat. It really is that simple, people. I'll do it again for you. Okay, so again, this building right here, guys. Come this way, jump onto this. I said box, it's not even a box, I don't know what it is. Up on here, like once you get this down, all you'll be fine. Let's double jump this way. There you go, perfect. Plenty of time, then, plenty of time to pull them off. Kill 
There's one. And there's two. Simple as that. Simple as that. Again, if they don't die, guys, you can take them out quite easy. I'll actually show you how hard they are. They're not hard whatsoever on story mode as well. Like I said, put on story mode. It's so easy. It's so easy. I mean, even when they hit you with those red attacks that you can't block, you have to dodge. They just don't do any damage. They just don't do any damage whatsoever. So what I'll do now, guys, is I'll actually let them come across the bridge. And then I'll pull them down. Almost failed that then. Almost failed that then again. There you go. So let them come across. I'll actually just take out these ads now while I wait. When you first come up here as well, guys, when you walk on this platform, you'll actually drop down and have to fight a giant frog. It's pretty cool, to be honest. But it ain't hard. Whoop. Okay, so are they across yet? There you go. There's one. And there's two. So I'm just going to pull them down. So like I said, even if you're late with your timing and you get up here slow, it doesn't really matter because you're still going to get a ton of XP when you take them out anyway. I mean, obviously it's not as quick as you uh, pulling them off the edge. But it's still, still easy XP. Still faster than anything you'll get any other way. Especially within the early days, guaranteed. There you go. There's one chunk. And calm down, boy. And slow more, your ass. Just because I feel like it. Those red attacks. Get out of here. And you see, look. Even when I let, I let him hit me. Come on, hit me. You see, just, just no damage to me. Like I said, story mode's the one for farming XP, people. Don't take none of your XP gains off. <laughs> we should get me out of this corner. Yeah, yes, XP gains are the exact same. And yeah, there we go, guys. Run back to the meditation point and just do what you gotta do, people. Do what you gotta do. You probably do get a little bit more XP for killing them, but at the end of the day, it's gonna take you way longer to kill them. But hey, again, if you mess up your run, you can always pull them down and kill them. But it is as simple as that. But there we have it, guys. By far the best XP farm in this game. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.